In this video, we'll be installing the Open Nebula. And here on my home lab, I'm using right now Ubuntu 22.04 and we'll be installing Open Nebula. And how you can get started, you can just click here, use Download Nebula. And there are three versions available. One is the latest Enterprise Stable release and one is the latest Enterprise LTS release. And then you have the Community Latest release available here. This was updated on 2nd of September 2024, uh, 6.10. You can, of course, see the guide also, release note also, what's new in 6.10. All of the options are there, but we'll be following the Open Nebula documentation. In case you are using AWS, so you can use the Open Nebula on the front end AWS. These are the options which are available to you. But we'll be installing, deploying on Edge cluster. So if you want to deploy on Edge cluster, you can do that. We'll be following the Open Nebula repositories and these are the community edition options which are available. So Debian Ubuntu options are available here, Ubuntu 22.04 and Ubuntu 24.04. So what we are going to do here, first of all, we are going to the Ubuntu 22.04 server. And if you want to know how we can get started with Ubuntu 22.04 server, I have provided the link in the description where you can learn how to install and get started. And the moment you are ready you have installed you can simply come here to the powershell and ssh to your server now right now i'm in the terminal and i can access and i can run all the commands which are here so we'll be doing sudo and su and now we'll be uh, using as a, a root id so i'm logged in as root now i'll be using apt get update we'll be now running the command to install the transport https so we'll be doing apt get with the extension y to make sure that it installs automatically so we'll be just installing it just wait for this process to complete here you can see the package has been installed now we are going to install open nebula we'll be just going back here to the repository and you can see here for 22.04 we are going to add this repository so what we are going to do we'll just copy this repository list here you go enter now this has been added into repository and now we'll be updating the repository again which will be the command will be apt get update done so this will be updating the list which are from open nebula it could not be verified Key I'll be downloading manually. I have provided the link of that in the description. I'll be just simply pasting that command, which will be getting the key from a Nebula repository repo 2. So this is the command that I'll be typing in. And now let me try again update command. Now you can see here all the packages are now updated. Now, as we have to do the front end installation, we copying this command which is to install the Open Nebula, Open Nebula Fire Edge, Open Nebula Gate, Flow and Provision. So we'll be going back here to the shell and enter. So now it will be installing. We'll wait for this process to complete. It might take time. All right, so you can see here that Open Nebula has been installed and all the details are there. So while installation, you would have seen what has been installed even the ansible has also been installed even there are various other services also installed so i'll be just clearing this and now we'll be moving to the next step here so first of all we need to enable the optional database so you can skip this step if you want to deploy for the evaluation so since i'm installing this for the evaluation so the initial configuration is fine so what we'll do now so we'll be creating a new user here now the user has been created so what we are going to do now uh, we'll be creating a file which will be a one authentication and inside this the password will be one admin so one admin and password will be change me one two three uh, which is fine for the time being and later we'll be changing it for the purpose of this tutorial it is fine so it will create the user id in the var lib one it will create the one authentication as the file and inside file the user id is one admin and password is change me all right, so this has been done. Now we have to configure one gate server. One gate server will allow the communication between VMs and Open Nebula. It's optional right now and it's not required if you are using the basic functionality. 
for the production server i'll be explaining you how we can do that and one flow this is also optional so one flow will help for the remote api and so on now finally we have to start and manage open nebula services so we will start these services now by running these commands so which will be systemctl start and it will start open nebula open nebula fire edge and these services that we have just installed open nebula service here and now we have to make sure that the services are enabled enabled means that the moment server will restart and these services will automatically run all right so we will see system ctl status open nebula you can see here that service is active and it is running right now so one user show so you can see here one user show it shows the token template also you can type ip address so you will see the ip address of this server is 172.17.149.217 this is the private ip of the server so what you will need to do you will need to open this ip address so with the http and port is 2616 all right so open nebula is now ready one admin and change me one two three now this is the interface that you can see on dashboard you can see all the virtual machines virtual machine templates images and the virtual networks instances will be available here and if you click on this particular icon you will see how you are logged in so whether you want to log in as a group admin so you will see the settings related to group admin if it is user user will be able to see these and if cloud it will be looking like this so i'll be logging in at admin we can add the clusters here we can add the hosts here we can simply click on add and the hypervisor host can be added over here whether it is qemu kvm or lxc so we'll be simply going here instead of sunstone we'll be going for the provision and here open nebula provision will open now this is the one provision dashboard where you can see all the deployments all the clusters right now one cluster is there three data stores are there i have explained you in detail how you can configure so if we click on providers so here you can provision your server so i'll click plus sign here so whether you have metal server available on aws or on-prem or equinix so if i do on-prem on-prem data center infrastructure click next and then on-prem data center infrastructure you can name it for example i'll give it sync bricks sync bricks on premises data center all right so click next and finish now configuration is finished here so provider is stored here so we can do the settings of this provider so there will be multiple connections here that i'll explain you and then you can look for it what will be the host to run the hypervisor what will be host to run the hypervisor and ceph clients what will be the first public ip address range so how you will be provisioning those servers of course you need to add the addresses over here so all the system settings in the provision settings are here so this was about the open nebula provision so on 2616 the server will be running so default service is fire edge sunstone so this is how you can deploy the open nebula hope you like this video see you next video take care and goodbye